Western Reserve Academy. Truscan? Is correct. This 1962 plane dealer headline tells of John Glenn's success in the first U.S. manned orbital flight, which was part of what NASA project named for this Roman god? Benedictine. Gemini. Mercury. Looking for the Mercury Project. All right, we're going to be back with more academic challenge. Plenty of more questions for you right after this. All men by nature desire knowledge. From the field to the supermarket and everything in between. Agribusinesses rely on the knowledge of Westfield Insurance. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you Academic Challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. Want more comfort in your life? We'll take you there in the best Ford Explorer ever with a striking all-new interior and a more powerful V8 engine that also delivers better fuel economy. And right now, you can drive and explore for a low lease rate of only $249 a month. That's only $249 a month. So how will you get the comfort you desire? Ford Explorer will take you there. Let's welcome and meet the team advisors from Benedictine, Greg Langner, from Notre Dame Cathedral, Latin, is Sister Nancy Petricelli, and from Western Reserve Academy, Mr. Jim Bunting. It's time to get back underway with our hot picks round. One at a time, I will ask each team eight questions. A correct response is worth 20 points with no penalty for a wrong answer. Any team that answers all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. First up will be team number one, Benedictine. But the way we do this, I call on Matt, the captain from NDCL, to pick your questions. One, two, or three, Matt? Three. Three, it shall be. Now, Jordan, Kevin, and Griffin, you do not have to buzz in. I've got your questions, and we begin with this. Life in the wild isn't always pretty. A Florida python recently burst while trying to swallow what six-foot-long reptile similar to a caiman or crocodile? An alligator. Alligator is correct. In a classic 1962 movie, the Three Stooges encountered what mythical Greek strongman who performed 12 labors? Hercules. That is correct. On February 24, 1945, toward the end of World War II, American soldiers liberated what Philippine capital city from Japanese control? Need an answer? Bangkok. Manila. Looking for Manila. Please take a look at the monitor for a science question. Saprophyte, leukocyte, hemoglobin. You don't have to work in a blood bank to know that which of these is the oxygen carrier found in red blood cells? Hemoglobin. Is correct. Though the White House has always dealt with fiery issues, it has been really burned only once by the British during what 19th century war? The War of 1812. That is correct. One pest exterminator who was definitely not high-tech was what legendary character who used a woodwind instrument to lure rats and children from the town of Hamlin? The Pied Piper. That is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please, for a math question. What value of X will satisfy this expression? Three. Three is correct. Only once has a U.S. president been sworn into office by a woman, and that was in 1963, when what man was sworn in by Judge Sarah Hughes after the assassination of John F. Kennedy? Johnson. Johnson is correct. Lyndon Bain Johnson. Congratulations, Benedictine. Well done. All right, team number two, Notre Dame Cathedral, you're up. Notre Dame Cathedral, Latin, but I will call on Puneet from Western Reserve Academy to pick your questions, one or two. Two. Who it will be. Noel, Matt, Carl, and Carl, you don't have to buzz in either. I've got your questions here, and we begin with this. Between 1944 and 1946, the government melted down army cartridges to provide metal for what smallest denomination U.S. coin? Penny. Penny is correct. People no longer had to read by candlelight after what American inventor patented the first electric light bulb? Edison. Is correct. Perhaps because romantic trends to tend, perhaps because romance tends to flourish in the spring, the ancient Romans dedicated the month of April to what classical goddess of love? Eros. Looking for Venus or Aphrodite? Venus or Aphrodite? Take a look at the monitor, please, for a science question. Marsupial genotype protozoa. A group of one-celled animals containing at least one well-developed nucleus is classified as which of these? 
protozoa. He is correct. Columbus was inspired to try to reach the Far East after reading about the court of Kublai Khan in a book by what 13th century Italian traveler? Marco Polo. He is correct. Had Shakespeare wanted to be more formal, he might have used the title Mr. Montague and Miss Capulet for what play about two star-crossed young lovers. Romeo and Juliet. He is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please, for a math question. Evaluate this expression giving your answer as an integer. A hundred. One hundred is correct. To date, 17 men have served as Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. Who was the first one? John Jay. That's correct. Well done, NDCL. <laughs> Got one set of questions left here. And these questions are for Western Reserve Academy, Andrew, Puneet, and Ethan. Here we go. The song, The Wreck, of the Edmund Fitzgerald refers to a disaster on what largest of the Great Lakes? Superior. Superior is correct. Although the Ides of March meant a birthday to America's Andrew Jackson, it spelled death for what ancient Roman ruler married to Calpurnia? Caesar. Caesar is correct. Well, it was no picnic for the participants. Onlooking picnickers were in attendance in Virginia at what first major land battle of the Civil War? Boron. That is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please, for a science question. Argon, krypton, titanium. Which one of these elements is not an inert gas? Titanium. Is correct. In the early 1970s, the president of Brazil shared his name with what Italian banking family that ruled Florence from the 15th century until 1737? Domenici. Domenici. Is correct. You never find out the name of the title character in what novel by African-American author Ralph Ellison? The Invisible Man. I'm going to say no, it's Invisible Man. The Invisible Man is actually a different story. The actual title is Invisible Man. And take a look at the monitor, please, for a math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 99. Is correct. A full lunch pail was a campaign promise of what 25th president who was assassinated in 1901 before he could fulfill many of his promises? McKinley. McKinley is correct. Well done, Western Reserve Academy. We're going to be back with our final and deciding grab bag round right after this. With age comes wisdom. Imagine how much you could learn in 150 years. Rely on the knowledge and experience of Westfield Insurance and the trusted advisor of your independent agent. Represented locally by leading independent insurance agents, Westfield Insurance is very proud to bring you Academic Challenge because supporting youth is another way we're protecting your future. My goal was a job in healthcare, but I didn't know where to start. Our goal was to hire well-trained people but where would we find them? I needed the right education and training. We appreciate quality training and we reward it. I went to college where the best people study. We went where many of our best employees got their training. Tri-C connected me to my job in healthcare. Tri-C connects us to great new employees. Dreaming of furniture but just can't find it? Bring your custom challenge to Wayside Furniture. Wayside specializes in custom home offices, bedrooms, dining rooms, home theaters, and more. From concept to delivery, Wayside makes custom dreams come true. And don't miss our spring calendar of savings. See your newspaper for fantastic store-wide savings. Wayside in Akron. Better furniture, priced lower. For academic challenge information on the web, log on to Newsnet5.com and click on Education. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Before we continue, let's recap the scores. In third place, with 350 points, Benedictine. In second place, with 380 points, Western Reserve Academy. And in first place, with 455 points, Notre Dame Cathedral Latin. It is time for the grab bag round. In this free-for-all, each correct answer is worth 20 points. A team will lose 20 points for a wrong or no answer. There will be some visual questions worth 30 points. However, an incorrect answer will cost your team 30 points. This is for all three teams. Everybody hands on your buzzers. And let's begin eyes on the monitor occasionally. Wisconsin is not only the dairy state, but it is also the nation's leading producer of what small, sour fruit grown in... Benedictine. Cheese. Cranberries grown in bogs. 
Burlington, Vermont will be the site of a new plant that converts electrical energy and water into a fuel made of what lightest gas? Benedictine. Hydrogen. Is correct. Charles Lindbergh titled his account of his solo flight across the Atlantic with what same pronoun that our founding fathers used to begin the Constitution? Western Reserve Academy. We. We is correct. Take a look at the monitor, please. This African-American soldier belonged to a unit honored by the French government for heroism in what war fought in the second decade? Benedictine. World War, World War One. Is correct. Frogs are not the only animals whose tongues can be longer than their bodies. The same of Western Reserve Academy. Million. Is correct. Authors Edgar Allan Poe and Jack London each died at what same age, equal to the square root of 1600? Western Reserve Academy. 40. Is correct. The Greeks did not have an alphabet until 1000 BC when they copied one from what nation of seafarers who settled Carthage? Notre Dame Cathedral Latin. Phoenicians. Is correct. Take a look at the monitor. Lack of money is the root of all evil. This was the cynical comment of what Anglo-Irish playwright who found financial success with plays like Major Barbara. We're looking for George Bernard Shaw. The part of the human eye that most closely corresponds to the diaphragm of a still camera is the retina, the pupil, or the iris. Benedictine. The iris. Is correct. If the Peanuts character Snoopy were interested in old ships, he might be attracted to what Charles Darwin vessel? Western Reserve. Beagle. Is correct. For 19 consecutive years, the fastest growing U.S. state is what western state whose capital is Carson Benedictine. California. Nevada. Looking for Nevada. Take a look at the monitor, please. At Mesa Verde National Park, you can see the cliff dwellings left behind by what P-initialed Native American? Benedictine. Pueblo. Is correct. At Texas Southern University, the law school is named, but we are out of time. Let's take a look at the scores at this point in our match. With 410 points in third place, Benedictine. With 460 points in second place, Western Reserve Academy. And in first place, our winners tonight, Notre Dame Cathedral Latin, 470 points. Please stand up. Congratulations. You win this round of academic time. Be sure to join us next week as we feature teams from Firestone, Midview, and Washington. I'm Adam Shapiro. We'll see you next week for another academic challenge. Thank you for joining us, and good night. Challenge has been brought to you by Westfield Insurance. Cash Explosion Double Play. Buy a Cash Explosion Instant Ticket and you could be on it. Congratulations, you won $100,000. Cash Explosion Double Play. Saturday night at 7.30 right here. Cash Explosion Double Play. Your chance to win thousands. So, you do have car insurance. Huh. So you do have car insurance. You do have car insurance. You do have car insurance. Uh, you do have car insurance. Well, you sure your policy's in effect. That's good. Disappointing gung-ho policeman for more than a decade. That's really good. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. We keep you legal for less. Hit the lady a cigar. Teresa Hernandez is a professor at Kent State University. Yeah. Emily is a photojournalism major. <laughs> professor Hernandez inspires creativity, communicates ideas, and influences people. Emily captures moments that connect with readers. Both have a keen talent for telling stories without saying a word. This is Learning by Living. It's happening every day at Kent State University. Imagine. We chose Schumacher Homes because of the high quality craftsmanship. We would recommend Schumacher Homes to anybody. Call us at 888-900-5088. Amanda Berry, missing for three years, but hope remains. Then this image on television. You gotta come, try it out. Sends five on your side investigators and detectives on a new search. Sunday at 11, only on News Channel 5.